Hi all, welcome for the session. So, this talk is going to cover about AI and how AI can help to the human and the society in a much more effective manner having novel innovation features and how a research can be converted towards a commercialization and I would say monetization. So, this is Sachin Agrawal. I carry the experience about 20 years in the industry having research and innovation conversion towards a commercial or the market ready products or the projects I would say and considering the various business aspects from the servicing point of view also. I carry AI PhD degree along with the lots of papers, research papers and patents, almost 25 patents, 25 research papers, 5 book chapters which all covering about research, innovation and AI. So, to in this talk, today we are going to talk about how the solutions or ideas can be converted from the raw research to make it more business effective which can be used for a particular segment or the technology. So, here I would say starting from the 5 pointers, so how the research can be taken up for the monetization. So, in this case let us go one by one and the later section of the talk we will be talking more about how the business or the particular segments or a particular problem statement should be selected to have the research development with the support of AI. So, first of all, let us see how the domain selection should work. So, first of all, idea should be predefined in a boundary of a domain. So, that is the reason we need to select a particular domain. And the second point is, in a domain we need to really understand that this domain is suffering what type of problem or I would say issues. So, that we should come up with the right solution. From a point of view for the business or the research, we should be really knowing the pain points of the business and reasoning of the particular domain. That is why I suggested is to focus more on the domain and if you select a domain and identify the need or the pain points of the business, then only we should be moving towards the I would say solution. Solution should be definitely the third point is adding the more value over here is we should be having the solution or the novel approach in a much more effective manner and much more I would say differentiating factor thus should add the more value what current technology or methods are not able to provide and definitely that is the reason we need to move towards the market acceptance. That is the reason it will be the highly monetized value. So, the just to summarize again, so solution should be much more solving the business need or the pain point so that the person or the service which is going to use it out make it more effective solution oriented and that is how it is a win-win strategy. So, let us I would say the move for the next one and just see how the further AI and Gen AI can further support. So, Gen AI is basically like an emerging trend which helps to the users in a much more effective manner. It just also converting the capability to uh, generate the responses as per the need. So, it is not a very fixed predefined I would say a template or set of classified output. It is more effective, more generative, more creative and a more personalized manner. So, that once as per the more personalized solution we can connect more targeted users in a business and that is the beauty of the Gen AI solutions. What the Gen AI capability? So, it can analyze the user content, it can consider to create a specific content example the social media post or the newsletter. So, currently if you see the content of the newsletter or the media is published for a certain group of people or a society or a classified manner. But what if, if Gen AI can deliver to me the things in a much more effective or a personalized manner. So, it would be more about the engaging the customer, engaging the need and delivering the solutions accordingly and definitely it will increase the revenue. So, how this successful journey of the monetization with Gen AI because once we target the more personalized way, it would be the more effective way of reaching to the more I would say even in the beginning I suggested that more user need or problem oriented. So, the reason is if we reach it out the targeted user, targeted problem, targeted solutions are there. So, Gen AI can support it out. So, that means we need to create a customized solution. So, in this way we have the more variety of the I would say the data or the content and generating the output accordingly and it would be more on the subscription driven or more on the user driven on the need. So, Gen AI is I would say another helping hand as a technology people or the technology experts or the developers. So, we could generate the more customized solution and Gen AI can take that kind of load and as a human we can add more value or a mere 
I would say as a technical experts, we can add more value by adding the Gen AI capabilities. So what's a basically important is with Gen AI because Gen AI is really a powerful tool in the current world, but it should be responsible, right? Because once we develop the solution or the technology as a techie guy, we need, really need to see that how Gen AI should work in a much more responsible or the balanced manner. So that there should be a proper trust by the data or I would say society output what we are delivering. And it will be, I would say a handshaking in a long term scenario. So definitely Gen AI usage to be controlled, responsible, governance driven should be there so that we can leverage the Gen AI capability in the right and the positive manner. So it is, I would say our control should be in much more effective manner. And I would suggest that that should be also part of our project or the research when we prepare. So AI is basically meant for the right information at right time for the right user. So that is the purpose of AI. So that if somebody needs X information at X point of time for X purpose, so that should be delivered in much more a right manner. And that's how the AI comes into the role. And that's the reason that Jane is going to do it out. So that if I have the 10 users in my business to solve the problem, so the 10 users may have the different expectation at different point of time in a day. So that's why AI is going to help with us. Another thing which really I would say it comes up in the research and news and media itself that AI versus human intelligence. So in this case, like human is human, right? And human carries a human intelligence, which is far beyond the AI. So definitely human is controlling AI. And if we do a right governance, right control, definitely human is going to control the AI. Definitely, it's a part of the consideration and AI cannot replace the human intelligence. So in this case, definitely AI will be the develop the part or will be development part under the control boundary, I would say. So for example, if we consider the banking example, AI is going to AI, we cannot replace an expert. AI is going to helping hand to the particular SME to do a more, I would say the task in much more effective manner, more higher effective manner, the more number of things. And I would say more data oriented decision or the, I would say the process to be taken care by the SMEs or the person or the expert who is doing the, his job. So that is the reason AI is going to be just one of the helping hand for the SMEs. Let's take an example like how this AI can help it out for a particular segment and how we should basically generate a problem statement, come up with a solution and deliver a best solution which can lead towards the commercialization and the monetization. So natural disaster, let's look at out the situation. So here like for example, like what are the different type of disaster? As I select like I selected a domain, like I have to work for AI project with natural disasters. So here it looks like the different type of natural disasters are there like wildfire, earthquake, flood, drought, or there could be more number of, I would say disaster, which as a human, we cannot control. But as a human, if we get aware timely, we can definitely get the certain, uh, I would say, reduction in the loss, more saving of the human lives that could be done using AI. So if we know, so in this case, when I look at the scenario of a particular disaster problem, so it can have the two type of scenario, how AI can help basically to control such kind of, I would say, savage of the society, or I would say the resources which are particular going to be impacted by the natural disaster. So this is a one area by understanding through AI, what is the intensity of the disaster, what's the time, how long a duration is going to be there. If we know that thing using AI, so this is one section I would say, if as a suggestion, I would say this one area can be considered for AI projects to be considered. So look it out in the scenario as a one scope and consider how AI can deliver solutions by considering the data oriented approach and look it out what the best effective way to save the human life or the resources by considering AI. Let's take another example of the banking, let's say. So for example, in a particular area, it's going to be disaster, let's say in terms of some flood or etc. So let's take an example as a flood area on a coastal area or somewhere. So it's, let's say disaster is going to come. So as in banking, like what we can do it or maybe as a bank, what should be the things that bank should support? So for example, there is a A bank, which is going to be considered. What should be the precaution project opportunity for us? So let's divide and conquer situation. We divide the situation in three stages. What should be the precaution measurement before disaster, 
during disaster and third is after disaster. So, these are the three points that we can take into the consideration. So, before the, I would say the disaster, what should be the precaution? So, as a bank, then I should be prepared and ready, hey, if the disaster comes, how would I going to save the data or maybe how are going to save my assets, whether it's like a digital or the physical assets. That's the one preparation, the planning. That should be considered by the banks, I would say, in, in terms of data. So, definitely they should have some data migration policy, data migration patterns or standards. So, that data should be procured and safe always. So, this would be like a pre-planning. Second also would be like pre-planning would be considering, okay, what type of loans would be there in the pre-stage if we have to give it out. So, accordingly the premium, I would say interest or ROI, return on investment should be planned in that way. Now, the second point comes an opportunity for the AI driven project. If we really need to see, hey, as an AI, what could be the impact on the disaster in the banking services and in particularly, let's say for the how much area it's going to impact 50 kilometers, 100 kilometers, something like a range driven. So, that could be in a planning stage, which AI can do it out. Another important thing, consider example of the bank, like for example, during this disaster, the situation would be there like how people would be bring it out their money back from the bank and at the time it would be quite important. So, bank really has to ready okay what would be type of the deployment of the services during the disaster time. So, this is the one thing which becomes quite important as a part of the planning. So, in this case as a bank can plan AI driven features say hey what kind of different I would say expected, I would say outcomes or expected demand of the money which would be coming it out as a digital currency or I would say the currency as a physical mode. So, that could be part of the during disaster and secondly, without how much seamlessly this banking services can be started or resume again during the disaster time. And third again after the disaster, let us say for the banking example again after disaster people may come up to the bank again to demand or ask for the more loan. So, in that case, what should be the bank's approach? How can be more effective from the business oriented and the solving again the pain point of my banking customers which are associated with me or maybe the new bank customers may arrive to me. So, these are three strategy or the three different categories are there which can be much more effectively planned. So, if we look it out the again the more detailed version. So, loan would be there, what are the risk mitigation approaches are there. So, during or I would say before and after would be there and I would just suggest as a second time that the money giving or in because sometimes ATM may not work at that particular time. So, in this case that situation will arise again. So, during disaster every bank would be delivering or be trying best to do it out, but how if AI can be helping us as an helping hand in a pre-planned manner. So, for example, like bank site may be got shut down due to the disaster possibility. But in this case, if bank has a pre-plan, they may have some, I would say, the mobile banking facility or the bank on a wheel. So, for example, bank would be uh, coming on a truck or maybe a van or some car, etc. or the vehicle. So, in that case, as an AI, now we have an opportunity over here. So, like one van or a car or a truck can cover how many villages I would say or how much kilometer range of particular area. So, AI can do a such kind of predicted classification. So, this van can accommodate let us say five different villages or five different sectors and based on these sectors, how much is the demand is going to come. So, how much cash a van should carry in a particular day. So, that could be done based on our data analytics. So, here now role comes for the AI, it will be doing a classified data approach so that it could be making a much more effective I would say prediction so that when the van goes from the out of the headquarter or some let us say regional branch. So, it carries sufficient amount of the I would say a cash or the rupees. So, that it should be a seamless experience. So, the van goes in a particular area. So, sufficient cash is there. So, AI can help it out that particular way. So, in that case we can estimate how many users are there, how many users are residing in a particular area. So, that the bank van can fulfill the right requirement and can coordinate and so that bank can also plan how many vans or the vehicles are required to be deployed in a particular area. So, this is something like from the point of view how the cash or amount should be distributed during the disaster time. So, now the interesting factor is 
another situation when you look it out one more important things will come it out about the verification because people might not be able to carry for example their i would say checkbook or maybe i would say another way of let's say atm card or credit card or debit card like that so those thing as a physical one may not be applicable or available so how ai or technology can help it out over here so that's the reason the bank has to prepare a bit early in a stage and as an techie guy we need to really support what are the different authentication method would be there because at the time as i mentioned about the bank when will be there to deliver the amount the user or my consumer or customer will be there but he does not carry any check book or credit card debit card so now the situation becomes really tough over there so now the thing is important becomes role about the biometric authentication of the user so at that time the bank also has to consider what type of different authentication method has to be considered so here the role comes about the biometric authentication where it's like a fingerprint or retina so bank has to consider in a pre plan in a early stage so that the right person gets the right amount of money at right time that's why linking it out the person or the ai should be able to help to the person in a right point of time by the right mean and a right method at right place so that is the beauty of ai it's going to help it out so even this scenario as we try to consider or i would say convey about the methods or the messages or the tips for how to prepare a project and how to be more i would say pain point oriented so the solution should be really solving a pain point or a particular user or the business so this was we are talking about the disaster now we will be talking more about slightly that how ai can help it out for the banking customer facing services so in the bank when we say there are lots of um, services which can be supplied or serviced by the ai so for example fraud detection data migration data saving and there could be n number of things like fraud detection for the credit cards etc but in this talk i'm going to talk about more about the customer facing so where the bank and the consumer interfaces and this example i'm taking an example but can be applied for the various other sectors also where the business basically interacts with the consumer and that's how the certain tips by understanding the consumer behavior consumer pattern we can really come up with the right effective approach so let's look it out what are the bank objectives so in this case let's consider the different ai approach how it can help the bank i would say so it can enhance the customer experience the way we interact it can innovate and i would say compare and compensate to the right thing and it can reduce overall operating costs and definitely can grow the revenue and finally it can take the risk control i would say let's take a very simple example let's say the one particular user he really needs a loan for a home and he really needs to understand what is home loan approach and how should we go for the approaching and applying for the loan but this person is not aware about the process overall so firstly he might be going to the bank or a bank representative to understand hey what is the loan and i just need to apply for the home loan for a particular sector and he may have let's say the several queries example 50 queries on day 1 but when he goes for the second bank he understands the process but he has the query that how to compare from a bank to the b bank in terms of the policy or the process or the pros and the cons so now what we see the pattern he may go again to the third bank again and might be possible he would be coming back again to the i would say the first bank again to see what is good bad and how it can make the effective output or benefit for the person so here the situation is the person is trying to grab the information for the loan related from the various bank understanding the pattern understanding the issues he may face and the planning so what we see as an issue just to take a loan for home he is trying to struggle and spend a big amount of time to understand the banking process now what if if ai comes and help the bank as well as the my customer to understand hey this is a loan and how the best way to look it out so in this case like being an ai and the banking side if bank offers a process and ai driven features so that the bank i would say the i would say the person or the expert or the banking officer who is the part of this conversation he can make the more effective communication and start from the right query understanding the context of my user so that's why the ai can play role to understand my consumer and solving the right question answers pattern at the same time 
and here definitely JNI could also do a helping hand over here to derive the question answers you know 24 7 in a much more effective manner but yes again as I said about the role of the banking expert or SME remains with him to decide whether to give loan or not or maybe if to give a loan what terms and conditions should be applied so that is still again lies with as a human as an intelligence to take a decision but how AI is going to help it out, AI is going to help the more data oriented approach where the banking expert would be sitting with the more data, what's the background of my customer, how is capable and expert to do it now or maybe do the premium in the coming years. Similarly, my consumer also understand, hey, this bank is going to deliver this, this things, this is a pattern and I have this type of conversation whether it's a very day one conversation or day three conversation. So both party understands what's the need and the requirement and AI can be a helping hand I would say at that particular time. So this is how AI can help both the parties and very basic structure when we look it out, it's look it out about the data and experiencing or maybe extracting based on the experience of this feature data set and doing I would say classification making them more effective curated I would say prediction at some way. So in this is a very basic system for a banking and the customer when I look for the interface side and it's how it can be a win-win situation for both the parties. So when we look it out what are the different trips or the tricks can be further there for the I would say project planning in AI driven banking features. So it could be again go for the product roadmap planning for example if person is let's say today taking home loan tomorrow he may come again for let's say for the car loan or maybe some his business loan. So what could be the different products we can plan it out. So based on the strength and wealth of the particular person, yes definitely we really need to treat the data in a much more confidential manner, yes without much impacting the personal data I would say and that should be under the boundary out of it. So that product planning or the roadmap can be decided based on such kind of patterns. So we can look it out for the consumer side what could be the next potential features or the projects or the products that we can do it out and definitely again it's a price sensitive because customers should not be going or knocking the door of other banks I would say so in that case it is quite price sensitive so whatever the services are offered that should also be considered what we are offering in a bouquet of services along with the pricing strategy and definitely all the tuning of all this modeling point of view and the feature point of view it's really required and definitely we really need to understand the I would say sentiments or the behavior of the consumer for example I would say let's say he's planning for a particular home loan in the month of let's say January 2023 but let's say after three months or four months the market can impacted it really impacts the industry it really impacts the market so in that case what as a bank can help to a customer or maybe what customer might be having such query or situation to change his the I would say the loan related I would say the premium or interest and etc. So it's just like the both side that AI can also again help it out. So it's a both way AI is going to help to understand more on the consumer issues which may be direct or indirect I would say and similarly from the banking side also like bank may be rolling out the more new services and he really wants that whatever the customers or consumers are there they should be associated more so here bank can also use one strategy let's say I have like 10 users or 10 customers associated with my bank whether in the future I should retain these 10 and I should bring the next 20 set of the consumers at my side so business and the bank definitely will be looking to associate so that's the reason AI can play a role over here so now looking more about the JNI and the banking so definitely JNI can also help to the banking sector so even it's also seen for the Gartner's report that it predicts that 20 percent of the all of the test data on the consumer facing use case will be definitely going to I would say increase by 2025 and JNI could be supporting on a more digital world the more application towards the GAN oriented and definitely there's a potential for more personal data oriented and in this case JNI can really help it out from handling from the unstructured data as well as the structured data and it's more like JNI can learn the pattern from the generated I would say the algorithms and LLM models and look it out the strategy to make it more effective and looking it out the more I would say opportunity having a synthetic database learning so that we can have the more effective features in the sectors. So it would be more interacting I would say 
again the I would say this going to add more value for the automation efficiency and the instant responses. So, definitely AI is going to available to the user as per the need. So, in that case the person does not need to wait for a particular I would say the service provider. So, he can ask the questions, he can prepare uh, I would say responses accordingly and it is going to run in a parallel experience. Now, if you look it out what are the different business operations which would be there in the banking sector. So, if you look it out for the person is going to open a new account he may have some queries. So, in this case Gen AI can help it out to do a let us say efficient way of KYC by having the Gen AI based approach enhance banking services. So, that our banking can provide very customized personalized I would say SMS to the particular person and in that case along with this virtual or the digital world experience I would say. Secondly, again as example we discussed about the loan side. The loan could be again for the small business or the larger business. So, accordingly it could be like very customized way of handling the loans applications or the loan queries. And again for the commercial I would say banking whether it is a business for a I would say applying for a small industry or a medium industry then it could be again. And definitely investing banking the person may come to the bank also to do a investment from the mutual funds or some policies or etcetera. So, again this is going to help it us in a very much more customized manner because we are really going with the technology, we are really going on our products and the services. So, again it is meeting the right expectation of the consumer with the right services. Now, if it look it out about the different financial goals and the preference as we discussed about like person may have his own let us say he has done for the I would say the loan side, but he has to some do a goal for some planning for saving or maybe some his investment on getting some investment return. So, this could be another way of a bank can suppose some services about the saving account or the big purchase which user can plan for example, big purchase like purchasing a car or vehicle. Again Gen AI can do a basic prediction for the need of my consumer. So, in this case it may go for approach let us say he is planning for certain trip or he is planning for some travel. So, those kind of things which will be again a part of Gen AI and it can understand the pattern and maybe suggest the right amount or maybe route accountability I would say. And in this case it would be a right connection based on the Gen AI features understanding basically the customer oriented I would. And similarly again in this case it learns the behavior of the consumer when it being connected from the healthcare point of view or from the, from the well being point of view. So, in this case if there is some product or the services which can help to my consumer for his wealth or I would say again with the health side also. So, in this case this is a combination for the particular consumer for him or her as per the family member. So, now even you sometimes see there are lots of services offered by the banking they do not go for a logical fashion they come on randomly fashion to the person. So, here in this case what we are suggesting as a new emerging I would say solution could be there in this way we go very structured way of as I discussed and explained about the logical fashion of the need of my consumer because he may have the x policy today possible y and z it has to go in a logical sequence. So, it should not be bombarded as a parallel one it has to go in a logical fashion. So, my user can select one thing at a time as per his pattern might be possible the other consumer in the market he needs the three service at a time or even the parallel processing. So, in this case that would be a very that parallel processing approach, but here is like a very sequential time driven approach or maybe the his or her preferences approach. So, that is why the Gen AI can take care. So, in this case again the Gen AI would be having some challenges of the risk about the security and the control and the data privacy again is a pri I would say the one of the concern. So, that AI has to take care along with the SMEs expert. So, these all a big combination I would say it has to run as an ecosystem it has to run in a basically a closed environment. So, that we should not have any hindrance by the certain other things and it should run in a more controlled and a sequentially or the secure governance oriented model I would suggest. So, AI can add more value to the expert solution. However, it cannot replace the human intelligence as we discussed in the example previously like banking expert or the role was there quite important for the consumer because consumer was coming for the loan or the policy, but final decision has to be take place by the banking officer or the expert. Now, with AI what is going to happen? This person or the banking person is going to be more data oriented. For example, if customer comes to him and ask hi why my data or my I would say the loan application has been rejected. So, this person can be more data oriented, more factful and I can explain also the role of expert becomes there, but it would be suggested with the more options or the more data facility. 
Now, if we look it out, the more I would say customer driven approaches for the insurance because bank also deals for the insurance related features. Now, for the insurance from the banking side, let us take an example of real life. So, what happens if the car is damaged on the road and currently without the AI, the person or the driver goes to the workshop or I want to say workshop going, it is a bit tedious process first of all. Then reaching there, getting appointment for the banking officer or the insurance person to come and approve and do an investigation with the right amount of time. Then only the repairing work starts. But what if AI technology can help us over here? So the person who owns this vehicle makes a video with the damages and send the instantly to the right insurance party as per his insurance policy. An insurance person looks out the video and in this AI can help it out to bring it out the features which really require attention for the approval from the insurance point of view. And then he approves with the customized, let us say the policy based approval and send it back to the workshop and this process basically process to do a I would say rectification of work by the workshop. So, in this case lots of paperwork got resolved and it is like an instant approval and immediate processing. But here the role again becomes important the person who is approving the policy. But it is make very simplistic easy experience for the consumer who is dealing with such kind of damage over the time. So, this is how that AI can really help it out and solve the pain points of my consumer. So, this is how another example that we are solving the pain point of my consumer. Let us look it out the different customer services when we talk it about. So, in this case in this customer service let us take an example what data is trying to be considered for the prediction. So, in this interaction we will try to look it out what is the health behavior things which are maybe discussed with the person and definitely the privacy is a concern that has to be taken care and in this case we can look it out the classification the history pattern of the my customer. So, in this case what are the different services can be offered. So, in this case the service can be offered by the verbally or the display for example, display could be some nearby or display could be some push method in an email message or some other media. So, that right information can be pushed to the user and not as a bulky or I would say a junk kind of information and so that the information is really searchable and based on the data and the facts is there. So, that finally, the decision can be made meaningful, accurate and based on the more data and the fact oriented I would say. And finally, it is going to help the bank as well as it will I would say boost the, I would the overall customer relationship and make the promising hands on experience for the long term association. Because if bank is going to target the right information at the right time, so it is going to be a long term association. So, this is how this customer service can be considered in a text image. For example, text can be a SMS or text could be some message, verbal or I would say the audio form acoustic and definitely if it has to be visual, it could be image or video. So, this is how it is going to work it out in the customer experience. Now, let us take a simple example of healthcare in this talk, we try to cover it up in a healthcare in a short. So, for example, digital Indian also plays another role with AI, how to deal a much more effective manner where we have something things in real world a certain parameters let us say x features and we have the digital world which can simulate those x features. So, this thing can be applied as a digital twin concept, we can do a simulation in the digital world in a much more first effective manner and we can do a prediction of what type of variations could be faced when we go for the digital world simulation using digital twin. Let us take an example the similar one, let us say the real world has been considered and we are moving towards the digital world and we see the 5, 6 variations in the digital world simulation depending on the future prediction policies or the I would say process or the situation. But in this case the person or the experts he consider hey green color is one of the possible digital world simulation and this would be the more possible one. So, the person or SMEs can accordingly take a decision in this way. So, similarly for the healthcare, the medical experts or the doctor who is going to do a simulation with the digital twin. So, that he knows ok if I apply this type of treatment what could be the output would be there possibly. But if we do a simulation with the digital world or digital twin, so he can consider here this is the best simulation for my patient and I can apply this type of treatment. So, that this treatment looks a suitable and the best and again the doctor decision remains the same because he really is just going to use AI, but AI or digital twin is not going to decide. So, overall AI remains as a helping hand to the doctor to decide what the digital pattern or the digital twin output comes out. 
So, in this case, this can be applied for various scenarios, I would say, for the medicine generation and data oriented approach for the healthcare records, I would say, and progression modeling. And I would also suggest like virtual patient simulation and the chronic disease, which is something like a disease, like if it is considered or maybe identified, detected at the right time, so that doctor can start the treatment accordingly. And through AI, if we are going to track the diagnosis, I would say in this case, it definitely is going to be a much more effective, I would say, simulation oriented approach for the doctor, so that doctor can save more time and maybe come up with the effective quick solution using AI. And definitely this healthcare side, AI can again be used for the enhanced medical imaging, for rehabilitation of the therapy, drug delivery, disease risk assessment, I would say, virtual health and the remote, remote patient monitoring. So, this is how it is going to help it out in a healthcare scenario. Overall, look at how the AI can also help for the various application. It could be, for example, 6G also. So, in this talk, I just covered a very short part where the digital twin can also help it out to understand the network behavior or the wireless data transfer. So, we can apply the learning from the virtual world or digital world using digital twin to the real world, what type of scenarios for the effective data traffic management or maybe demand of the traffic, for example, video data or maybe the 3D data kind of transmission. So, in this case, we can look it out what are the network optimization, what are the prediction techniques for the data and the channel capacity and how can we make it much more effective data rate communication having the smart antenna array system. So, this is also another 6G can also leverage with AI and digital twin. So, this is how the various example were considered over here and finally, just in short to summarize. So, as we discuss about the lots of tricks and the trips according to the domains and the applications like for example, the right information should reach to the right user at right place and time and considering the different industrial application and the research. So, this is how you can make it much more effective your research and the project and make it executable at the right point of view according to the demand of the industry or the services I would say. So, this you can use it out as a tips and the tricks and make it more effective way and try to leverage in your projects to make it much more effective impacted manner presentation or deliverables of your project. I would suggest to use this session much more effectively and apply to a solution and special thanks to AICT to make it possible and making reaching and to you and again lots of thanks to all of you the viewers and the listeners for the session. Have a nice day. Take care.